Hello, and here is the 2001 FA Premier League sticker collection from Merlin. We have Michael Owen, Mr. Honoray, Di Canio. It's pretty obvious who that player is. Anyway, let's get started. All the content, the Premier League trophy, the introduction. Chief Executive of the FA Premier League. We start with the runners up that season Arsenal and Mr. Honoray. There's the squad. Honestly, Carno was a really, really good player when he wanted to be a good player. He could score the goals. Then again, he could go years without scoring a goal. Aston Villa, they had a really good season, there's David Ginola, and there's their squad, Dion Doblin, and I'm actually pointing there at Julian Jochum, that's um, Dion Doblin. <laughs> Bradford City, second season in the Premier League and their last it would be a steady slope downwards, but they're in the playoffs this year. Could they be making a return to the Premier League? And there was their squad that season. Kind of overspent on the squad. And sadly, that's what the deck mounted up to. Charlton Athletic, managed by Alan Kerbishley. Chelsea before they were of course the multi-billionaires but they were the FA Cup winners this season Dennis Wise and the guy Zola from Italy Coventry City their long run in the top flight came to an end this season as their luck did run out and of course that means they were relegated. There's the um, squad. Derby County. Everton. First season with David Moyes. Duncan Ferguson, a very, very good player, very tall. Ipswich Town had a great season previously. Well, they had, this season had a great season, finishing very high up the league, getting into the UEFA Cup. And the following season, they got relegated. Richard Wright, one of the promising young goalkeepers but he never came to be after joining Arsenal Leeds United this of course season they were in the Champions League looking to become one of the best teams in England again but sadly there was a massive court appeal over some allegations of Jonathan Woodgate and Lee Bowyer the chairman at the time, I forget it. Of course, Pete Ridsdale overspent. I mean, look at this squad. Some absolutely top class players like Nigel Martin. Danny Mills wasn't too bad. Ian Hart, fantastic player. A young Alan Smith. Mark Van Duca. Darren Huckabee. Harry Kuehl. Lee Bayer, brilliant player. Of course, this season. They signed Robbie Fowler and Robbie Keane. There's that usual bit in the middle that nobody really cares about. Merlin's Most Wanted Merlin's Swap Shop Tour 2001. A bit on McDonald's. <clears throat> and we get back into it with Leicester City. Eddie Akinbayi, 
wasn't a popular choice at um, Leicester City. Peter Taylor signing him up. I think he'd be an absolute top, top striker for Leicester City. Turned out to be one of the worst buys ever. He was an absolute flop in the Premier League. But he's still a legend at Gillingham. Not a bad squad, of course. You've got Robbie Savage, enough said. Muzzy is it an absolute blinding midfielder, along with this guy, Neil Lennon. Now manager, I still think he's the manager at Bolt Wanderers. Quite successful at Celtic as a manager. Very underrated player in his time. Liverpool, the FA Cup winners and the UEFA Cup winners that season. There's Michael Owen. And of course, it was the start of Steven Gerrard. And is he in the book there with a the young Steven Gerrard? Just 21 this year. And one of the oldest players was, of course, Gary McAllister, who had a blinding season for Liverpool. Actually, I think he was their player of the year this year. And of course, Michael Owen went on to score the two winning goals against Arsenal in that. FA Cup Final, the first at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. Manchester City. Well, it was nice of them to return for one season. They were relegated. They went straight back down and came straight back up. A few more years would have... They'd have to wait a few more years before the big, big money came in. Of course, here playing at Main Road. Of course, the league champions again, Manchester United. There's Ryan Giggs, David Beckham. Of course, the team of the Premiership, Paul Scholes, Roy Keane, Teddy Sheringham, Oni Gunnar Social, a very, very cheap buy from Norway. Even the likes of Ronnie Johnston. There's the great Gary Neville. Yep, Stam, an absolutely top-class defender. Said some things about Alex Ferguson and he was shipped out. But absolute quality. Next we have Middlesbrough. Newcastle United with the great Alan Shearer, Kieran Dyer, great player when fit. Of course, the great Shay Given. Southampton. Brand new season, brand new stadium, no Matthew Letizia. But Marion Bahars was an absolute top player. Then it's Sunderland with the great underrated Kevin Phillips. Tottenham Hotspurs. Sergio, I think it's Sergio Ribro from Ukraine. Not the best of signings. And that's Steve Cole. What a, what a player. Came through the youth ranks at Tottenham. Of course, last season for Sol Campbell. Now, he did promise that he'd never leave North London. Well, he did eventually, but at the end of this season, of course, he got a free transfer and joined Arsenal. And we all know what happened there. Les Ferdinand. Tim Sherwood, Darren Anderton, again when he was fit, he was top he was top class. West Ham United. Frank Lampard in his youth. And just look at this team. Rio Ferdinand. As I said, Frank Lampard, Michael Carrick, Joe Cole, Trevor Sinclair. Paul De Canio, who scored that brilliant, brilliant goal. An old Stuart Pearce still doing his thing. 
at the age of 39. An old Nigel Winterburn. I mean, you can see they produce some of the best of youth players. Also, Jeremy Defoe came from West Ham. So, yes, Man United did have the best of youth players, but West Ham did come a good second. But fortunately, West Ham did sell them all on. Of course, Rio Ferdinand went to Leeds United and straight away after the World Cup joined the Manchester United, making him the most expensive defender in the world. £28.1 million. And of course, there's the end. There was a little lamb um, disc from this Bionic Lego Technic stuff, which, well, nothing much to say there. There's the end of the album, showing you where all, where all the tools will be at, from Ipswich to Belfast. Is your album a winner? There's your unique code. Of course, the album cost. 199 and that is my FA Premier League 2001 official stick collection complete. That took a bit of time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll say goodbye and thank you.